So my name is Gillian Braids, and so far I have lost three stone um, with the ellipse balloon. I'm obviously having lost three stone. It is now noticeable to those people around me um, that I have lost a significant amount of weight. And the thing that has most uh, made most impact on my life is I've always loved exercise even at my heaviest I would still exercise um, go to a boot camp four or five times a week and um, go to residential boot camps twice a year for a week uh, at a time but the one thing I couldn't do was go running because the weight was having um, severe impacts on my joints and my ligaments and I have arthritis Having lost the three stone and with the balloon in place, I started running again. I completed my first 5K um, and it just means that I now, outside of lockdown, can go to boot camp four to four or five times a week. And now I run six times a week. So it's made a huge impact on my life and on the people around me. You know, they can see that I'm much happier in myself. And um, I'm much healthier. The, what the balloon has taught me is portion control. Um, and it's not that it stops you eating. Um, I found for myself, and it may not be the same for everybody, I don't know, but for myself, I could still eat um, a relatively large portion of food. Um, not huge, but relatively large. But then afterwards, I'd feel uncomfortable. And I wasn't in agony, but I was definitely uncomfortable. And so over, over the period of having the balloon in place, um, I was reducing my portion sizes, but I was doing it myself. It wasn't the balloon stopping me eating. It was me. It was helping me get control of portion size. I, I suppose... The main thing really is to continue this journey even after the balloon was gone. Um, as I say, this is, this is a tool for learning and I want it to be long-term learning and not something that, oh, the balloon's gone, I can now go back to my old ways. That's not what I want at all. Um, so I think the 16 weeks is great because it, it teaches you new habits and gets you into a new mindset. So I've been diagnosed with arthritis in both hips and in my feet. And I think I might, it's not diagnosed, but I think I might have it in my shoulders as well. So before I lost the weight, I did not get a solid night's sleep because I would wake up with my hips, my shoulders hurting, and I'd have to roll over. And then an hour or so later, that side would be hurting and I'd be rolling back again. And I'd basically be doing that all the way through the night. So I wasn't getting a solid night's sleep. In addition, I couldn't do things like running. If I went for a walk, my feet would start hurting and it would be absolute agony. Um, and my consultant had said, you know, you lose two or three stone, you could be pain free. But the problem is you exercise and it aggravates it. So you kind of, but you need to exercise to help with the weight loss. Um, so I was kind of stuck in a catch-22. So managing to lose two or three stone, I now get a solid night's sleep. And I now run six times a week. And I do all the things I wanted to do. And I just am, I'm pretty much pain-free. I get the odd little twinge here and there, but I'm pretty much pain-free. And the other thing I noticed was in the morning when I used to get out of bed, I would walk down the stairs like I was 80. It would be that shuffle whilst everything sort of warmed up. And now I get out of bed and I just walk downstairs like a normal person. So that's been a big difference for me. To be pain-free, yes, I wanted to look good in clothes and, you know, all the other things. But to be pain-free was my biggest goal. And I'm 99% there.